Welcome to the race day recap. Racing took place at Hollywood Bet Scottville on Sunday, the 26th of February. Eight races on the program, and it all began with a maiden juvenile plate over the 1200 meter trip. Race number one, where your winner was number five, Emelo from the Doug Campbell Yard, second to Railroad, third, Jury's Out, and fourth position, Jetbund. Railroad B52 Omelos towards the outside and trying to get into the race now is Hunza Road they come to the last 300 Railroad still the leader down the inside B52 but now Omelos putting it together and Omelo comes into the lead over the last 100 from Railroad and it's Omelo Railroad's trying to come back for more Omelo still in front and Omelo will win it so Omelo has won it second will go to Railroad the third position will just the second race on the card went the way of number seven, Wiley Riley, for Gavin Van Zale. And this was uh, the first of Attendiwi Magudla's winners. A good ride. He has Wiley Riley in action. Outlook coming to the last 300 meters now on the inside of that one there it's Wiley Riley on the stand side Benny in the area and towards the inside Cotton Run as they come to the last 150 though Wiley Riley on the inside is the leader Adabas trying to get into the race late Benny in the area on the outside and is still hanging on Wiley Riley though and Wiley Riley will win it the second position's very close race number three on the program an MR 66 handicap of 1600 meters it was the first of two for Paul Lefty and Sipa Sisle Schlengwa when Sleek as Silk came through to a notch up a win at number three on the outside and Jazz Festival as they come down to the 200 though and Sleeker Silk has taken it up from Thunder Masala over the last 100. Jazz Festival's trying to fight on but it's Sleeker Silk, Thunder Masala's trying to come back for more from Jazz Festival but Sleeker Silk is going on. Jazz Festival's coming out second best, third Thunder Masala. The third race on the card provided us with a nail-biting finish between uh, Walton Hall and Devils and Dust and it went the way by the width of a piece of paper to Devils and Dust. Marker now, Devils and Dust. Walton Hall's trying to make a race of it. Brave Voyagers on the inside. Devils and Dust, the leader now. Walton Hall's trying to close in. Brave Voyager down the inside. Brave Voyager, Devils and Dust. Walton Hall on the outside. It's Brave Voyager just from Devils and Dust. And on the outside, Walton Hall. It's very close. Race number five was won by Sea Goddess, Louis Cousin, and Jason Gates teaming up, beating Leopard Lady and Mouse Princess. 300 Escapologists still the leader, Mel's Princess on the outside, Leopard Lady as they come down to the 200 meter marker. Mel's Princess now and Leopard Lady down on the inside as Sea Goddess, the three of them across the track. Mel's Princess, Sea Goddess and Sea Goddess is coming strongly now. Sea Goddess going to win it. Second will go to Leopard Lady. Third. The next race on the card gave us another fairly close finish, but it went the way of African Skyline giving Atendiwe Magudwa another winner, this time for the Goth Puller Stable. From everywhere, after the rain, sashay away. So cool is a big runner, and on the outside, African Skyline Aquabolt coming to the 200. Though Sekulu and African Skyline down the inside, off to the rain, passage of power. African Skyline, and behind that, Sekulu. These are the two. African Skyline just won it. Second will go to race number seven. Was won by number six. Quest for the best in fine form at the moment is this five-year-old son of Karari, and he not up a win at number five from his 30th start at Tantiwa Mkutwa at the treble for the day. Lucky dollar tribute to you. Parminian comes out for a run and then comes all the time. Coming to the 200 meter mark, a quest for the best. Northern Warriors a runner and all the time is on the outside. Then Parminian in tribute to you. It's still quest for the best. Northern Warrior Parminian and all the time over the last 100 meters though. And quest for the best still goes though. Quest for the best has won and Northern Warrior sick. The last race of the day went the way of Harley's fate for Nathan Cotson and Robert Carty. Well backed in the market, never let um, Harley's fate's backers down, beating Aspustaki. He has the closing stages. Conchita Sharfolia towards the inside of that Trubadex. Coming down to the 300 meter markers, pushed a key. Down the inside, Harley's Fate, Meredith Gray, Sharfolia, yearing after as they come to the 200. Harley's Fate on the inside has pushed the key. Then yearing after and Sharfolia. Harley's Fate and has pushed the key over the last 100 meters. And it's Harley's Fate going on for the win. Second will go to us, pushed the key. Royal Aces third, Sharfolia. 
Well, that was the eight races on the program at Hollywood Bet Scottsville. Hopefully, you managed to make yourself a bit of cash, and hopefully, it was a good weekend for you. All the best going forward. Racing next at Hollywood Bet's Gravel on the Poly Track. It is Monday, the 27th of February. Nine races on the program, and all the best. Have a good week.